<laughs> well, there's Ratso right there. Uh, so yeah, the trumpet Ratso. guy. So that I guess it's kind of like a Ratso. Yeah. I'm, I'm walking here. This guy rules. <laughs> he rules because he's such an idiot. Yeah. By the way, he's, he's a what he bag. does, what he what he did here, you know, he doesn't rule for that. I'm a fan of the street musician Anthony Cumia. Are you? I I. I I give money to every single one I see. I despise them. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> if, I got a, if I got a quick fiver in my wallet, the street musician gets it every time. Wow. Well, fiver. I try for fivers. That's but nuts. If I don't have a fiver, I don't go 10. I don't go 20. Then I'll, then I'll dig a few, few no. dollars or some change at the very least. But I try to go with the fiver. That's my thing. If I'm walking around the city. You don't like and, these guys. No. <laughs> but if I'm walking around the city and I've been like hanging out, maybe I've uh, been to a couple of bars and stuff every so often, very rare, maybe every couple of months. Yeah, I'll see a homeless guy that I deem worthy of my assistance mm -hmm. and I'll drop him a C note. Whoa. Just to watch their fucking face. I'll yeah. drop him a C note. Go like, here you go. Just they to see that fit the shocked look. They have to fit the criteria. Yeah. And you almost you do it for like. I, your amusement. I do it for my amusement. Yeah, I gotta like, be honest. I do do it for my amusement, but it's also, you know, it makes me feel good that I can. The look of shock. Yeah, yeah. They look like they can't believe it. They're very happy. It's what do you do if you can't find a homeless guy? Do you find a listener of our show and then just say something pleasant? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. I never say anything pleasant. They're your little play things, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, it's it really just is kind of a fun get. Who cares? The end justifies the means, right? It's an exercise in objectification, not... Well, yeah. we could all sit there and go, when we do good things, is it for our own pride or is it for fucking, uh, you know, doing good? And uh, I think a lot of times when you do something charitable, there is a feeling that you get like, oh, I, I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there but for the grace of God, stop throwing fucking rocks in your glass house, you cocksucker. Whoa. You're right. I don't have $100 anyway, so. Well, of course you don't. It's not about you, Sam. It's about the trumpet guy. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take this video? Oh, I wish. Oh. Are you kidding me? It would not have been in portrait mode. Thank you, Anthony. Oh, Please, he's a professional. And I would have edited this. This thing is way too long. As you see, yes. we're going to start mm. the tape halfway through the video. Right, where he comes, starts coming over to the camera guy. What you see is the troll way in the background yelling and screaming at a trumpet player who's like just a street guy trying to make a few bucks. And this guy just fucking, I don't know, it, it awoken something in him. Yeah, yeah. You know, this guy, I guess, is a failed musician himself. Uh -huh. That's yeah. what I get out of this. I totally got that, especially by the end of this clip when he's berating the horn player. It, it's like, oh, my God, he's definitely just talking to himself now. This is a, a, a fucking monologue he's having with himself <laughs> right. about how awful he is. I, uh, I tweeted it, and I think it's on our Facebook page by now, right, Iraq? Okay, it's up there, so... You should like our Facebook page. That would be nice. Like it. A lot of our visuals go right up there, so yeah. you can play along at home. All right, so uh, we pick it up halfway through the video now that the troll is moving toward the camera so you can really hear what he has to say. Which, when he moves towards the camera and you see him up close, yeah. one of the greatest reveals in viral video it history. Really <laughs> oh, boy, is. yeah. You realize how short he is. And and how we there's something genetically wrong well, with him. His torso is only as long as his face is. Yes. He's got a tiny torso. Little tiny torso, big head, big long face. But huge balls, man. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he would go down in one fucking punch to the jaw. And what an annoying <laughs> voice. What? Oh, what happened? Yeah. All right, let's play this. Who the hell do you think you are? You any kind of artist? Anybody know who you are? Oh. Maybe everybody else wants to enjoy the peace and quiet. This is one of the most important places in all of North America. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? You miserable, presumptuous, no talent. You're no artist. An artist respects the silence. It serves as the foundation of creativity. You obviously don't have the talent. You don't have enough respect for yourself or other people, or what it is to express yourself. In music, we're I thought Ronnie James Dio died. <laughs> I'm an NYU film school graduate, sucker. Pause. And that looks like Todd Roskin. What? I it Todd? does look like yeah. Todd. It's not Todd, though. No, no. It looks, okay. It looks exactly Sounds like a little him. bit like Woody Allen, too. Yeah, right? really oh, angry Woody Allen. Yeah, yeah. You sure that's just not a really ugly woman? Because a lot of people think it's a woman. And uh, yeah, I, I, I thought it was what? until you said like it. the breast. That would be even better. <laughs> but I don't think so. I don't so. know. Go back I a little bit. I swear more. last night watching, I thought it was a woman. I did too for a 
Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, because it looks like there's some flatty tits there, maybe. And did you fuck her? Oh, I fuck her. Yeah. For the story. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. For the story, man. <laughs> and why you film school graduate, sucker. And sucker. the School of Visual <laughs> Arts. And the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. You suck. You are no <laughs> talent. If you really had talent, go practice. And then get yourself a gig. Instead of ruining the end of the day for everybody down here. You disgrace. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. You are self-consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of shit. And <laughs> I've earned my right to that? say it. I, li I feel like he could be talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might want to put this audio in the intro. <laughs> Oh, this guy's pretty good. He, for a crazy person, he's well spoken. Oh but. yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's yep. well educated. Yep, and uh, so great. You can tell he's been he in went New to York. some of the finest schools. <laughs> yes, you can tell he's been in New York forever because he's using seventies New York slang. Oh yeah, like sucker, yeah. sucker. You're not a cool cat. <laughs> There's a million of these guys, man. They're all over the fucking place. The New York trolls. Oh boy, yeah. they're the worst. No talent, mediocre piece of shit. <laughs> and I've earned my right to say it. Okay? I had two other <laughs> people in 1975. I walked Bob Dylan up on stage. Who the fuck are you? Oh I knew the Grateful Dead from 1966. Who the fuck are you? You nothing. You nothing. You are nothing. And you will never be anything. Oh. Never. Oh boy. How dare you? Who is he talking about now? How dare you? You miserable, mediocre nothing. Is How big a... his cell phone looks next to him. I oh, know. His cell phone looks huge. Look at the side profile. Uh, it looks like Pacino without the wig. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the worst side profile ever. Oh, that is awful. Holy it, fuck. It looked like he pulled an iPad out of his pocket. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> a it's got a plasma. <laughs> <laughs> I walked Bob Dylan on stage. I knew the great... Uh, but those things oh. are true. Oh, I bet they're true, too. And, yeah, and, yeah. It's obvious he's he's talking. This is his inner voice coming oh, out. Yeah, yeah. He, he feels like he is a failure. Nothing. Right. Right. Because right. the guy he's yelling at is just a dude on the street playing the trumpet. Like he never claimed to be anything but no. a dude on the street he's who plays not, the trumpet. He's not claiming he's a good trumpet player. He's not claiming that he uh, is is this amazing musician. Right. But this guy spouted <laughs> off all of his credits, all the schools he was to, and he's the. Mediocre, useless failure. Sucker. Sucker. They're going to go back a little bit. Uh, before he pulls out his fucking... <laughs> yeah. His yeah. giant phone. His jumbotron. Yeah. <laughs> right. You miserable, mediocre nothing. Shame on you. Oh. You crack stupid little smile. You little pip. No pip. more to play. Go more to play. You're flat. You can't even carry a fucking note. <laughs> I don't care about your little, like, horn lip. It doesn't mean that you know how to play. You're flat. I'm trained classically. I'm trained contemporaneously. All and right, you enough. suck. Go away. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 Holy and then he leaves. <laughs> That's all it took was the guy to go, all right, enough. Enough. Go. Enough. Well, he knew he was getting some good video. And the guy left. He goes, no, no. And he walks away. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wow. He called him a pip. You know, yeah. He's probably right about the horn playing, too. Who wouldn't want to talk to a horn player like that? <laughs> Who wouldn't want to well, yell at a horn player? Oh, they're so go annoying. To, they're just loud. Go to the beginning. It, it, I barely play. It's the funniest part, but it's so far in the distance. Like, the guy starts... What the hell is that? Wrong video, oh. Sam. It's called Lick My Love Pump. The, the, guy, foundation of creativity. the guy, um... Starts yelling at him, and yeah. then the trumpet player like just plays right in his face. Yep. See if this plays well on the radio. It might not. He's in the background now. Just tell him to leave. No, you go. Shithead. Get out. Looks like they're recreating the Call Me Al video. <laughs> Yes, you suck. I'm a left-handed guitarist. You suck. No! 
No. No. Watch. You go. Get Watch. the fuck out. Watch. Get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing yeah. Oh Susanna. <laughs> oh Susanna. What a horrible song. <laughs> What a great New York scene this is. Perfect. Go to a studio and rehearse. If this was any other city, the cops would have been there. There would have been a problem. In New York, it's just. It's what happens. He's lucky he didn't get that trumpet upside his fucking head. Who's filming this? Some passerby. Or... Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, that's where we picked it up from. Now, where is this? Do you know? This is in the city somewhere. Yeah, I don't know exactly where. I believe it to be real because the guy He's who was filming good. was too scared to, you know, keep him, keep him in frame. And he's too good. That, that's you can't. No, you can't. You can't reenact that. If shit. you reenact that, you don't no. just put it on YouTube. I don't know. And we learned that the guy's been playing uh, left-handed guitar for forty-one years. <laughs> forty-one years. <laughs> Those are just too weird of facts to to make right. up. Right. Even yeah, a writer right, wouldn't right. come up with that shit. Exactly. I brought Bob Dylan on stage. <laughs> like, you think of a better credit than that? <laughs> I played with Bob Dylan. Uh, yeah. Right. And he knew the Grateful Dead. Yeah, from, from, from 1966. Yeah, <clears throat> it's actually pretty impressive to know the dead back in 1966. Yeah, mm. uh, they were probably you know, hey little man, come over here. Yeah, yeah. Right. good to see you again. Hi, Simon, his <laughs> name was or whatever. Hey Simon, yeah, it's yeah. you again. There he is. They loved him around when they were oh, tripping. Fuck yeah, <laughs> they would drop some acid <laughs> and then yeah. have this thing running around. Oh yeah, time of his life back then. Sure. I love when he goes, you fucking flat. <laughs> You're flat. Yeah, you because flat. I'm telling you, he's crazy, but no way that didn't bother the horn player. <laughs> that one probably got yeah, to him. Like, yeah, but the horn you, player has a sense of humor because he he plays the most hack song ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, Susanna. Poorly. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's terrible. He knew that would really bother him. <laughs> yeah, just another little uh, slice of New York right there. Yes. <laughs> we have Piers Morgan coming in today.